What's good YouTube? Reese Rockman aka Rock Art Fitness coming at you with finally the lower body day two. Reason why it's day two and not day one because day one's upper and day two is lower. But anyway, let's get back to the video. The first exercise you have here is the barbell front squat, four sets, four to six reps. This is the exercise we want to get better at. This is the exercise we really want to go heavy on, create that progressive overload and just a way to track our progress. I prefer front squats over back squats because of the reason that it places more emphasis on your quads due to the bar placement. Um, my strongest points have to be my glutes and my hamstrings because I don't know why, I just have overdeveloped glutes especially. But I find that the front squat doesn't put as much emphasis on my glutes as a back squat would. Next exercise, have to hit those hamstrings. Lying leg curls, 4 sets of 10-12 to 12 reps. On this one really not trying to just swing the weight around but control it going up and going down. On a Tuesday, anyway, good job. Lying hamstring curls, this is actually the only hamstring exercise I ever do because it's the only one I feel I need because your hamstrings do get work through the other quad exercises. For example, this one, lunges. Three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Um, with lunges, one key point I can say is make sure that you step a little bit outwards as you can see I'm doing here. Reason being is because it gives your knee a more natural path to track over. And also make sure that your knee doesn't go past your toe when you're doing this. Um, because that can cause injury and strain your knee. And that's something we can't have in this game, can we? Yeah. But the reason why I'm actually bringing back lunges is because I know I have overdeveloped glutes but I feel this is a great quad and hamstring exercise. I feel it everywhere in my leg. From quads to hammies to butt. You know the butt. The butt gains. But yeah. <laughs> Next exercise. Calf raises 5 sets of 5. With about a 1 or 2, wait, 2 or 3 count on the way down and just one count on the way up, pausing at the top for about two seconds. The reason why I do a 5x5 five five is because I've tried everything for calves, guys. Literally everything. So, on my favorite bodybuilder's videos, Matt Ogus, he does a 5x5 five five and I just want to try it out. And I, I saw a little bit of growth in this past three, four weeks, guys. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna see much, but my calves did make a little bit of an improvement in like the past three years. <laughs> but in joke side guys, I like the style of training calves and I'm gonna stick to it for however long I need to. But yeah, this is standing calf reps. Now the next clip you'll see is the second calf exercise. I do two calf exercises, three quad and one hamstring exercise. Reason being is because I need calves and knee quads and then hamstrings. Hamstrings is a muscle where I feel very sore after doing anything more than say four sets. So that's why I've cut the volume down to four sets on one day. But because you're doing it three times a week, your hamstrings are getting that frequency and they're still getting that volume. And that's why I do it second in my workout. Because next to the front squat, I can overload the hamstrings the most because I can do the most amount of weight, or well, not as much as if I did it first, but still a good amount of weight because of the reason that I'm starting out with it. It's the second exercise, I should still be fresh-ish. The front squats are lower reps, so it should tax my nervous system, but it shouldn't really fatigue my muscles too much. But yeah, that's just my explanation of the order of the exercises. And then finally, we have the leg extension. We've given them a bit, of a bit of a break. Now we're gonna smash them for a little bit. Three sets of 12 to 15 reps. On this one, it's all just about that squeeze and that content tension on the muscle. I literally love this exercise because I feel no pain in my knees. I can really contract the quads and chest the quads. And it's just something that I love. I've always done it since I started bodyboarding. My dad told me I always do them, so I'm always doing them. That's just my explanation. But don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. But guys, this is the leg workout that I'll be doing for, this, for the foreseeable future. 
There's going to be an upper body day three coming out soon, but for now, this is the only leg work that I will be doing. I feel it's my overall leg, and I recover well from it, and all the factors just play together. I think I made some quad games, eh? But yes, that's it, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll see you in the next video. Rock High Fitness, checking out. Cheers.